What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to win our second badge, and well, I did something off screen, yes. I cleaned them out, especially that very first badge, it looked nasty, and uh, well, I just had to take the, 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 the switch out of its you know, compartment and all that stuff, and I had to clean it up, okay? So leave me alone. Okay, so anywho, now that we've defeated, uh, what was her name? Um, I forgot her name. <laughs> uh, the nice trainer, the nice gym leader from Adara City. We are able to use the cut technique. So our adventure right here is going to take us to the Team Galactic uh, hideout or warehouse. So we're going to cut and bam. Our Lord and Savior Bidoof is going to just open this thing up right here. So let's go right ahead and start beating some uh some team galactic members as you guys can see they are like you know crappy go lucky just whatever and, he, and he, this guy's like team galactic isn't interested in the world our gaze is beyond the stars okay beyond the stars that's pretty cool if you talk to this guy he's like welcome to team galactic are you here to donate your pokemon what you're not then kindly get off our property do we have to bring the pain like we did the cycle shop manager Probably. So it looks like it's going to be a double battle right here, guys. So let's see. Hmm. You know what? I think we got a good team. I think we're going to take on these two individuals and all that stuff and just beat them. Anywho, I would like to brag yet again. The green screen. You guys can't see it, but the green screen. Shout out to Elgato, okay? They sent me a green screen. Now... I've, I've only done green screen like maybe like what could like five six episodes and I had to use a cloth green screen in order to get this whole thing fixed up and trust me guys it is a horrible thing when you have to look up how to fix up a green screen how to make it work and all that stuff without the the fold and and the creases and all that stuff so yeah Elgato right here has the best one it's kind of like one of those teacher's maps where you just pull down from class. I don't know if how old you guys are, but when you pull it down, there's no creases, there's no folds or anything. And that's what we got right here, plus the lighting. Oh man, I fixed up the lighting to where it's like, yes, we are. We are finally doing some green screen. It is going to look good, and hopefully it will be for like some main adventures. And it's the right, this is the reason why we're doing uh, three episodes in a, in a week, because... A lot of you guys are a lot of you guys are liking this, so I'm gonna keep on going with it. Uh, going into 2024, see if it like you know if it works out for all the like for the best and all that stuff. I have lots of great ideas, guys. Lots of great ideas. And so let's go right ahead and continue defeating these people. And that fake out is going to make my Pokemon not flinch, but there's a mock punch for hitting my birdie. Mm -hmm. And there you go, Lamy out, not happy. And this right here, Starblade, whoa. Yeah, it flinched. Holy buckets, okay. So, let's go right ahead and not do that. Let's go with a Flame Wheel and a Wing Attack. And let's see what happens after I cough. Man, you gotta love the cough. You gotta love the cough right there, and bam. Well, Hydra is close to evolving right here. I am excited. Because we're gonna have a true water type Pokemon. I do have a I do have a good team planned out for this. It's 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 a usual team that I normally use here, guys, so don't be too surprised if you see somebody of the same or something like that. Now, as you can see, guys, yeah, there are some team members right here just looking on, and this guy is gonna be like, Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. Yeah, that's true. Now, this Pokemon trainer right here is going to try and challenge us. So what I would suggest is battle everybody that you can because there's not a lot of trainers out there you can battle. And if you guys want to be stronger, you're gonna have to go underground for all that stuff. If I had a if I had to say something, yeah, the underground path or the underground thing is not my favorite thing in the world. So let's go right ahead and just burn this Silcoon. Now, easy stuff. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty, and. Well, Team Galactic Grunt has been defeated. She's just like, what is this? You just got defeated by good old Draven right here. Okay, so who's next? I'm going to battle everybody I can. And, of course, this guy wants to battle me too. So let's go right ahead and do the deed. 
by defeating this Team Galactic Grunt. And he is going to be coming out with a Wurmple. And this Wurmple... Like, why do you have... Okay, my question is this. Why do you have Bug-type Pokemon? Especially, like, how come you don't evolve your Bug-type Pokemon to their full form? It could have been a better challenge, but no, no. It's like these grunts don't have, like, an idea of how to do things. And... <coughs> wow, coughing again. That should be my uh, spirit animal or spirit Pokemon. We're going to be going with, not Ultra Psycho, but Electro Star. And, uh... Well, Electro Star is going to be going. While this is happening, I'm going to get some water right here because it's probably what I need. Always hydrate, guys. Oh, yeah. That's some good water right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go with the Spark Attack. So the Spark Attack finishes off Zubat. And I'm just going to put it right here on my desk. And bam, there goes Zubat. And, well, we have defeated another Team Galactic Grunt, and, uh, well, we are, uh, we're making some good strides right here, guys. Alright, so who's next? I think we've already took, yeah, we need to take on this person, I think. If we can only just go right here. And, no, this person does not want to battle me or anything like that. And, well, let's go straight to the next floor. There are going to be Pokemon trainers here. Let's go... And, uh, let's see, let's swap some Pokemon. Let's go with Ultra Psycho. See how that works out. And Ultra Psycho is, well, this lady's like, Why, thank you! We love it when people come to do come to us to donate their Pokemon. That's not exactly what's going to happen right here. But, here we go, taking on the Team Galactic Grunt, and she is coming out with a Wurmple. So, these Pokemon do have a type advantage against us, it's just... Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna get ugly very very soon. So here we go, Ultra Psycho. Let's go with a Psycho Cut, and Wurmple has been defeated. Very easy stuff. And Mewtwo Uno is close to evolving, or no? It doesn't evolve. What the heck am I talking about? It's close to getting to level 21. Jeez, whatever like whatever it is I'm, I'm eating or smoking, I gotta stop that. And here we go, another Psycho Cut. And Zubat has been defeated too. Yeah. Take that. And well, Mew de Uno grows to level 21. And here we have another Silcoon. So let's give Starblade a little bit of love right here. So let's bring him back. And Starblade. How's it going? All right, Team Galactic. Bring your worst. Silcoon. And well, you got to love the uh, Intimidate. I think I have like quite a few. Oh, I think it's both Starblade and uh, and and Electro Star. They have uh, what was it called? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. They both have Intimidate, and well, there it is. Another victory for us. Say goodbye to Team Galactic, and uh, yeah, they're not happy right now. Okay, so let's move on right here. Talk to this guy. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's the going on. Like my friend would say, you is stupid if you don't know what uh, is going on right here. So, let's see. Let's give uh, Electro Star a little love right here, too. Alright. And uh, the, the tone of the music changes here. and It's, it's going to be like, our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order that our boss will lead. The NWO. NWO for life. Unfortunately, he's not talking about that. So here we go, we're taking on Trayvon. And he's going to be coming out with his Kadabra. So it's probably a good thing I switched out right here. Let's go, Electro Star. And yeah, that's not going to do much to a Pokemon that's a special attack right here. So let's go, Bite Attack. And here comes a Kinesis attack. This. Okay, so this is not cool. This will lower our accuracy, I believe. Yes. And. Our bite attack. Yes, does the trick. One hit KO. Say goodbye to Kadabra. Yes, I am happy about that. And, well, Travon has been defeated, and he's like, This won't go unpunished! Yeah, it's... <laughs> You're not going to do anything about it, except just let me go. Let me go. And here we are at the final part of this building. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go straight to the strongest Pokemon I have and see what this is all about. Ugh. 
Did you want something? How silly of me to ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Yeah, that's that's gonna happen. Okay, alrighty. So here we are taking on Commander Jupiter. And uh, I, I really do love her outfit. <coughs> Looks good. And she will be coming out with a Zubat right here. Okay, so we're gonna switch out our Pokemon because yeah, I'm not yeah, well, you know, Flame flame Wheel can work, but I kind of want to go with a type advantage. So let's go with Electro Star, Intimidate. Doesn't do anything because of its inner focus. And here comes a Super Sonic, which I knew was going to happen. And, well, let's go with a Spark Attack. And that Spark Attack wins it. Okay. Zubat, you... Why are you losing like that, Dad? Well, here comes out a Skuntank. Now, Skuntank is a... A bit of an annoying Pokemon right here because it is both poison and dark type Pokemon. So it nullifies the fighting type capabilities and all that crap. So let's go. And, uh, well, Skuntank are just, they're just an annoying Pokemon. And Jupiter's gonna be like, how insolent. Take a bite of this, child. Well, uh, take a bite of this. Flame Wheel. For the win. And that Pokemon is tanky. And, well, we're gonna be getting gassed. There goes his fart attack. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's that, that that's a stinky one. So, let's go with a KO can attack, see if that will allow us to beat him in another hit. So, here we go. We raise up our stats, our special, and our physical attack. And here comes a Snarl. This one will hurt. Not very effective. It will lower our special attack. Seriously? Okay. Yeah, we are getting hurt by poison, so we have to hit this guy where it hurts. Let's go, flame wheel attack. Is it a physical attack? I completely forgot. I don't. Oh yeah, there we go. Two can play at that game. Seriously? Okay, so it's still burnt, but yet using flamethrower on us. Holy buckets! Okay, that's hurting us. Plus the poison. So okay. Let's finish off this Pokemon. Yes, the burn is killing you right here. So let's go. Flame Wheel attack for the win. Come on. Flame Wheel. Oh, yes. And here comes an ath Aftermath. I really do hate Skunk Tank. I really do. Especially its evolutionary line. Bam. But we get a nice chunk of uh, experience points, and Jupiter's not happy. Losing to some child. Being careless costs me too much. It does. It did. Okay, so, well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. And Mars has collected energy from the Valley Wheel Works. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one, one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon with the power of mythical Pokemon. He will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of, the, or of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. Okay. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic, they said my, they said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. Their logic, their logic baffles me. It's like they're from space. Anyways, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now. But cruise by the cycle shop, which we will. So just a few things. Uh, yeah, we got to heal up our Pokemon, and we're gonna have to get the heck out of here because. You know, we don't want to stay here very long. So everybody has left the building. And there are maybe two things. Two things that we need to do. And... Well, right there. And... Uh, hmm. Looks like I'm... Oh, wow. Another call. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we're bad guys. And uh, I really have to put my thing on silence or airplane mode or something because... People won't stop calling me. I am a very, very busy man. Okay, so first things first, guys. There is a tree that you could cut right here. Make sure to cut it. Bam. And there will be an item close by. And that is this. Here you're going to be finding yourself the TM46 Thief. And, well, it's going to be going back into your bag. And, uh, hmm. Well, let's go ahead and cut these, uh, cut these things yes let's go ahead and cut this and the last thing that you guys need to do is go back into the cycle shop 
So, after defeating Team Galactic, the Cycle Shop owner will reward you with a, a brand new bike. And there he is. Look at him. He looks like uh, he looks like a karate master of some sort. He's going to be like, Thanks for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. Please come uh, with me for a moment. There's not a lot of... Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, so... We're going outside, I guess? And he's like, I'd like you to choose a color of your bike. Which one? Blue, red, green, and yellow. You know what? My favorite color is blue. I'm gonna go with blue. Look at that. Yes, we got it. We want the blue bike. Marvelous! You have chosen a dignified blue. It almost seems like you can see the bubbles of a squirtle reflected on it. It's perfect for you. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a bike. And, well, it's the latest model, and you'll be really operating manual to you. Press B to shift gears, it says. In the third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it will be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride a full speed and climb up slopes. Your bike can take you through all sorts of towns, roads, and routes. Now get out there and ride. Look at that. Look at me. Okay. And, yes, we are putting this guy in our... In our... Well, in our bag. And, you know what? Let's go ahead and register this sucker right here because... We need it. Go with this one. Yes. Okay. So it's now registered. And, well, that electricity right there proves that, yeah, we can, uh, we can do a lot of, uh, we can pop wheelies and all that stuff. And, uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, how do I get myself out of this? Hold on. How do I, how do I get myself out of this? Huh. Ah, there we go. The select button. Anywho, guys, uh, well, since since uh, we're doing three episodes a week, we have shortened episodes, and it's going to be a little bit more fun with, like, different parts and all that stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be going into, I believe, the Eternal Forest, and we're going to take a look at a few things from there. Short episode, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know. We shall see. If this is a Sunday episode, then yeah, it's not going to be long like that. So I'll be right back with, or I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.